In this video, we're going to review how to create reports. There are two different types of reports. There are property level reports or listing reports. First, we're going to begin with property level reports. After conducting your search, select a property. Then click full page in the upper right hand corner. From here, you'll see property details, any listing information, historical data, tenant or contact information that we have available. And scrolling down to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see property report. Clicking on property report will give a pop up window that you'll see all of our listing reports available to you and also this column for geospatial. This geospatial section is only available to you while looking at a single individual property at the property level. New SIBA reports include demographics and things such as retail logos for the area. I've selected those two as an example and you can see them here at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and click generate report. The links for these reports should generate in under a minute. However, just so you know in this example, since I am pulling a demographic report, I am pulling census information, so it could take a little bit longer than usual, but again, should still generate in under a minute for you. All of our SIBA reports generate a unique URL link. This link can be shared in office with other brokers, in emails, or text messages, however you prefer to share that link, again, with your coworkers, other brokers, or clients. In addition to sharing the link directly to the listing, you also have an option to view the report directly on your computer to download or print. Now that the link has generated, again, you can copy it if you'd like, and the link will be available for 30 days, or click view to view it on your desktop. Here's an example of the new demographic report from SEBA. This provides you with one to three to five mile radius with information such as population, home ownership, employment, household income, and expenditures. And below that is the second report that I pulled, which is the retail logos in the area of the property. This is a great report while building your own marketing packages. In addition to the SEBA PDF reports you have available to you, we also now provide analytic reports from our tech partners. Clicking on the analytic tab, you'll see here that the Moody Analytics in partnership with Reese provides an in-depth market analytic report. Now this is not a SEBA data report, but it is a huge benefit to our members with our partnership with our tech partners. So clicking on here, I have a market report and a submarket report. This is gonna be based off of the location of the property. And you can see here, this property is Seattle based with a submarket on the North End or Snohomish County. I'm going to go ahead and click on the market report, but I will not review it in total because it is a fairly large report. These reports are on a quarterly basis only, but they will provide you with some really great information or market insights on things like rent, vacancy rates, and so on. You can also see things such as absorption trends, so please take a look at these reports while you're doing your market analysis. Next, we'll move on to our listing reports. From here, you can select on the listings, however, however many you need, and click on Create Report. However, we do recommend that you first change your view to view more information about those listings. In the upper right-hand corner, you have a grid view and list view. The list view is going to be the most helpful. Uncheck Group by Property, and this will give you the most information on the listings themselves. Here you can see I'm now looking directly at a quick view of the building square footage, and you can also th see things such as price per month and if there's an NNN rate. If these are for sale, you would also see things like cap rate, as well as some broker information on the right hand side. Select the listings that you would like to put in your report and click on create report. From here, you will see all of the listing reports available to you. Note the geospatial column is empty because those were the reports only available on the property level. But from here, you can go ahead and select the listing report you would like. I'm going to choose the SIBA brochure as it's the most common. And then under here, I now have an option to include broker or owner information and include flyers. There is a limit to broker flyers. You can only have 25 flyers per report. So it's not so much the count of listings you've selected, it's just whether or not those brokers have uploaded flyers. So if you don't see that option here, you may have too many flyers in that report. Once you've made your selection, you can go ahead and click generate report and you'll get a URL link for that, that report. 
And just as before, you can share that URL link with anyone by copying it and sending it over to anyone or clicking view directly on your computer. This is a preview of the CMA brochure. This is branded with my information, but you'll see your own logo and your own information there. And if there were any flyers available to you, they will appear in the order that the listings appeared at at the bottom. In addition to having the PDF reports that we just showed you, there's also an option to launch these reports in Google Earth. You do have to have an existing Google Earth account set up, uh, but you can load these into Google Earth to create your own reports that way. And there's also an option for an Excel report. The Excel reports will launch the same way every time. They are not customizable at this time, but you can definitely load them into a summary or single line report if that's your preferred view. If you would like to place these listings in a specific order before pulling reports, you first have to add them into a list. So select the listings and click Save to List. You can create a new list down here at the bottom, and we reviewed that in our Managing Your Search Results video or you can add them into an existing list. Once you have a list created with your listings, head over to your list at the top and you can sort them manually by putting them in the order that you want them to appear in. Once you have sorted them, the report option is up here at the top right-hand corner. Click report. You have the same listing reports available to you, but now the listings appear in the order that you want them to appear in. This sums up the review for how to create reports in our new SEBA database.